everyone. It's Kino here. I'm just going to set something up on my phone real quick. And that wasn't it. Call during the live, number one. Number two, let me tell you about the class today. The class today is a beginner modified Ashtanga series that is going to be about an hour long and this is a class that's good for you if you're a beginner or if you have not succeeded in the lotus position yet and otherwise we'll be going over some modifications and understand that this is a modified ashtanga practice i just practiced with my teacher sharat from mysore this morning in a super traditional practice that's why this class is a little later today so We'll be doing another one next week, so look for some schedule changes just for next week's live classes on Saturday and Sunday and the weekends. And let's see, what else? This class is going to be on omstars.com. So remember, you can always watch all of my videos commercial-free on omstars.com. You get a 14-day free trial. Yay! I also have the Yoga Inspiration podcast. Podcast just launched. Go check it out. Otherwise, Let's get started with the practice, okay? So we're gonna start in Samasthitihi, and I will start the opening prayer. I'll be going through a few of the sun salutation standing poses, a few of the seated poses, but remember that this is a modified practice meant for beginners, and especially good if you're not yet able to do the lotus position, which is a really difficult external hip rotation, okay? Cool, let's get started. Okay. Come on up to the front of your mat, and we're ready to begin this beginner-focused Ashtanga yoga practice targeted for beginners and modified primary series. So we're breaking things down. It's going to be about an hour long. So let's come on up to Samasthitihi, feet together at the front of the mat, and we'll initiate the space with the traditional opening prayer. And we'll do the Om together, and you can either just listen to the opening prayer, or if you're familiar with it, you can sing along with me. Oh. One day Guru Nam Charanara Vinde Sandar Shita Swatma Sukava Bode Nishre Yase Jangalika Yamane Samsara Hala Hala Mohashantie Abahu Purushakaram Shenkachakra Siddharinam Sahasra Shirasam Shwetam Pranamami Patanjalim Long deep breath in. And as you exhale, let your hands drop by your side. It's always very good to begin with a few deep breaths. So activate your pelvic floor, tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth behind your two front teeth, and start to really breathe with resonance, with power, and with sound. This will initiate the space of our sun salutations. And then here we go. We raise the arms. If you're having any neck issues, you might not be able to take your hands together. So we'll just start off as easy as it goes. Externally rotate the shoulders. Inhale, raise the arms. Elevate the chest and reach up. Ndwe, the second breath. Exhale, fold forward. If you have a hard time reaching the ground, you can bend the knees and just drop the head down. Trini, inhale, straighten the legs and come up. And if you need to, you can hold on to the shin bones. Then, Bend your elbows, bend the knees, and step on back through plank. Put the knees down. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. You can even put your chest on the ground. Let's point the toes. Pancha, inhale, lift the chest, pressing up through the arms. Come up to upward facing. And shot, exhale, roll over your toes, and press on back to downward facing dog. Roll the shoulders open, tuck the chin in. We'll stay here for five breaths. One, deep, powerful, resonant breaths. Two, three, nice and easy, keep breathing, spread the shoulders open. If your lower back is very rounded, you might wanna bend your knees a little bit so you can better fold inside the front of the hip joints, but you see how it goes. One more breath. 
All right, let's switch your gaze forward. Sapta, inhale, let's step on forward, just walk your feet forward, back between the hands, come onto the fingertips or even the shins as you lift your head and look up. Ashto, exhale, fold, drop the head down, little bend your knees if you need to. Nava, inhale, stand up, externally rotate the shoulders and reach up. Samasthitihi. All right, let's do it again. Externally rotate the shoulders. A come, inhale, raise the arms. Dwe, exhale, pivot from the waist, fold as much as you can, little bend if you need. Trini, inhale, your fingertips or the shins. Chatwari, we're going to step on back through plank. Make sure you get a good plank. Send the knees on the ground, exhale, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing, lift the chest. Deep breath in, shut, exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing. So in downward facing dog, you can check out your hands. It can be about shoulder width apart, your feet about hips width apart, and make sure you have a good distance apart in downward facing dog so that there's an even distribution of weight between your hands and your feet. All right, deep breaths. Activate the pelvic floor. Keep it nice and steady. Let's go for one more long deep breath and just feel the breath moving in, breath moving out. Really vocalize the breath. Now remember to activate your pelvic floor so you activate that area known as Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. All right, let's go for the last long deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Switch your gaze. Look forward. Inhale. Come on and walk forward. Nice and easy between the hands. Chest up. Exhale. Fold forward. Come on down. Nava. Inhale. All the way up. Rotate the shoulders and reach. Samasthitihi. Now, if you feel you can press your hands together, we're going to do one more. Surya Namaskar A. Feel welcome to press the hands together in this one. A. Come. Inhale. Raise your hands. You press the hands together. Maybe you can look up. Hurts the neck. Remember, just look forward. Dway. Exhale. Fold. Go down. Trini. Inhale. You can come on the fingertips, even up to the shins to create a little length in the spine. Chitwari. Let's step on back through plank. Sink the knees down. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in, soften the glutes, lift the chest. Shut, exhale, downward facing. Okay, we stay, again, five breaths. One, deep breathing. Two. Three, remember we're here just to feel the body, not to force. Try to cultivate an attitude that is appreciative of this practice as it is. One more breath, keep breathing. Focus on the length of the breath coming in and out of the body. <sighs> That's good. Pelvic floor, nice and engaged. Okay, let's look forward. Sapta, inhale, come on forward, step in the feet forward between the hands, lift the chest. Exhale, fold, come on down. Inhale, stand up, raise your hands, externally rotate the shoulders. Samasthitihi. Okay, let's shake it out. Now, we're going to move on to Surya Namaskar B. In the second of the sun salutations, we start off in chair pose and end in chair pose. Step forward and back into warrior one. Now, this is one of the hardest parts of this is actually stepping forward to warrior one. Many people don't have the space to do this. So we're going to use two yoga blocks to help you find the space in the Surya Namaskar B. All right, so set those up about shoulder width apart. And here we go. This just makes it this, so much more accessible. You also find more space in the lower back here. If you're familiar with the practice and you don't need these, no problem, you don't need them, all right? Bend the knees, squeeze your knees together, inhale, raise the arms, just like in Surya Namaskar A, maybe it's too much to look up, just rotate the shoulders, exhale, fold forward, hands on the blocks, go down. Just keep your hands on the blocks, Trini, inhale, chest forward, press right into the blocks, step on back. Now you got two options here, let's do the easy one first, stay in plank, exhale there, 
Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shop, exhale, downward facing. Keep your hands on the blocks. We're gonna step forward to warrior one. Turn the left foot out, feel that extra height, how easy it is to step the foot forward. Step the inhale, external rotation of the shoulders. We got our warrior one pose. And go right back down to the blocks. And Ashto, exhale, plank. And now if you wanna bend the elbows for chaturanga, you can. Nava, inhale, upward facing. Dasha, exhale, downward facing. Do the next side. Ekarisha, inhale, left foot comes forward. This is warrior one. Press down into the legs. Keep inhaling as you raise the arms. You get that external rotation of the shoulders. Dwarisha, exhale, hands down. Step on back. Find your planks. You can stay in plank or lower down. Up to you. Drayogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturdisha, exhale, downward facing. All right. Now, for the five breaths in downward dog, you're going to step off the blocks. One, deep breaths. Two, three, four, deep breathing. Five, switch your gaze forward. Step on up to the blocks. It's going to make it easier to step forward. Panchadisha, inhale, step forward. Come on to the fingertips. Shodisha, exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Squeeze the knees together. Saptadisha, inhale. Find that external rotation of the shoulders. Samasthiti. All right. We're going to do it at least one more time. Okay. Mm. Bend your knees. A, come inhale. Roll your shoulders. Ndue, exhale, hands to the blocks, straight legs go down. Trini, inhale, keep your fingertips on the blocks and look forward. Chitwari, exhale, use your blocks. Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing, you can just keep the neck long. Shop, exhale, downward facing. Step forward, one long inhale. Sapta, inhale, warrior one, reach up. Ashto, exhale onto the blocks, plank. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Let's try the other side. Ekarisha, inhale, step forward. Long deep breath, rise up. Dwarisha, exhale, come on back. Trayogdisha, inhale. Chikturdisha, exhale. All right. Remember for our five breaths here, Step on off your yoga blocks. Maybe take a step back. Five breaths to settle. One. Two. Steady breathing. Three. Four. One more long deep breath. Five, switch your gaze forward, right hand, left hand, here we go. Panchadisha, inhale, come on forward. Shodisha, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, squeeze your knees together. Saptadisha, inhale, samastitihi. Okay, how are you feeling? You got that little inner fire turned on? That's the purpose of the sun salutations. So we're gonna move the blocks on over to the side and we'll begin the standing poses. Our first standing pose is Padangrasthasana. So this is a forward fold. Move your feet about hips width apart. And then you're gonna pivot right at the hip joints. So inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, pivot at the hip joints, fold forward. If you can't reach your toes, you can bend the knees a little bit. You can hold on to the big toes. Then inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, fold forward. And as you fold forward here, the thing to do is activate the pelvic floor and just try to straighten your legs as much as possible. If they don't come that straight, it's not a problem. Most important, relax the neck. Don't pull with the arms. Just rest your chest on the thighs and stay there for a few breaths. Breathing, feeling, it's all good. Let's go for one more breath here. Maybe straighten the legs a little more, a little more. And here we go, Trini, inhale. And here's the hard one, Pada Hastasana. You're gonna bend the knees, place your hands underneath your feet, 
keeping the knees a little bent. A come inhale and do a exhale fold. Slowly try to straighten the legs. It could take you maybe, I don't know, 10 years of practice to really get that full straight legs forward fold. And in the meanwhile, just be happy with where you are, happy that you're practicing. Stay for another couple breaths. Super important that you're not like all the way here and pulling with a rounded spine. So try to soften the spine a little bit down. Relax the neck, stay there breathing, feeling. Okay, here we go. Trini, inhale, exhale. Inhale, come on all the way back up. Deep breath in, samasthitihi. Now we move into trikonasana, the triangle pose. And we're gonna use our yoga blocks for triangle pose. So I'd like you to get those set up relatively on the high side. And although it's traditional to grab the toes when you're first starting in the triangle pose, sometimes the blocks are a little bit better. Inhale, let's step on out to the side. Spread your arms, long deep breath in. Then let's externally rotate the right hip joint and fold into the right hip joints a little bit. And you can see that there's a moment when you'll have to kind of like pivot forward. Well, I don't want you to get to that moment. Grab your block, even at the highest level and just hold it there. And you could find maybe a little lower is better. It's really up to you. What do you feel? We'll just hold that for a couple breaths. Looking up at the left hand, steady breathing. Feel the pelvic floor and feel the breath. Make sure you're not putting too much weight on the backs of the knees and that the breath is fluid and deep and long, keeping the mind nice and calm. Mm, let's go for one more breath here and inhale. Come on all the way up. Let's turn around. We're going to try for the other side. Chatwari, exhale, fold. Find your connection to the block and let's reach the right arm up nice and easy. One, work the legs, activating the pelvic floor. Two, three, nice and easy. Four, don't push the body, just be with it, almost there. Five, okay, inhale, come on up. Now, keeping the blocks in place, you're gonna pivot around. I'm gonna need to reposition a little. <laughs> pivot around and square the pelvis back, which is Revolve triangle, or also known as Trikonasana B. Start off in your forward fold. So allow yourself to find the forward fold, taking your right hand on the block, then left hand on the block on the outside of the foot. You can flatten the hand or leave it on your fingertips. Lift the chest up and forward and then gently twist. You don't need to twist too hard or hit it too hard. Just find the place where you can kind of work the body, but not hit it too hard, okay? Keep breathing. And if you find yourself sweating, well, that is all right. In Ashtanga, we're trying to cultivate that fire of purification. Stay for a couple more breaths. Keep breathing, keep feeling, not forcing. Okay, that's good. Trini, inhale, come on up, turn. We're gonna face the front side, okay? So we start off, find the pelvic floor, exhale, fold. Then the left hand comes down. You're gonna use the left hand as a foundation, square the pelvis, right hand moves over, and you could flatten your hand on the block or again, on your fingertips. What works better for your spine? Inhale, twist. Exhale, extend. Extend the spine, extend the left arm. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Again, one side might be different than the other, so you may feel better on your fingertips or you might feel better down on the palm. Find that nice little sweaty sensation, enjoy it. One more breath. All right, that's good. And here we go. Pancha, inhale, come up. Samastitihi, come on back up to the front. All right, still got our yoga blocks in place. A, come inhale, step out to the side. This time let's go wider, so we're gonna move the blocks a little bit wider. Open on out, and let's turn the right hip joint out. Bend the right knee down and then hooking the forearm. You can hook the forearm here and slide your left arm around. And this is a perfectly acceptable place to stop. Otherwise, you might find that, well, you want to push your hand on the block. Also a good spot. Stay for a couple breaths and just feel and work the body. No force, no fight. You're just here to feel and breathe. Remember, there's no shame in modifying the posture. There's no competition, nothing to prove, nowhere to go. We're just breathing and feeling. One more breath. 
Here we go. Trini, inhale, come on up. Turn. Switch the sides. Chatwari, exhale. We're going to hold the left arm on the thigh or reaching down towards the block and extending the right arm. So you want to really feel the alignment along the right side body and deep resonant breaths. Gazing at the fingers, just stay here breathing, feeling. No fight, no force, just the breath. Almost there, here we go. Pancha, inhale, come on up. Samastitihi, let's head on back up to the front. Okay, I'm gonna move your blocks over to the side for the moment, then here we go for the five leg, wide leg forward fold. Come inhale, step out to the side, hands on the waist. So now we're here, we're going to take the hands on the ground. The way exhale, fold, taking the hands on the ground. Then again, inhale, and now we're going to fold forward. If you're unable to fold forward, you're going to feel like your head is dangling. It's not a problem, the head is dangling. If your hands don't touch the ground, just move your feet wider and open out to the side. Just stay here for a couple breaths. Letting the breath be nice and fluid. Keeping the mind calm and steady. Keep breathing. So eventually, top of the head goes to the ground. But for right now, again, just worry about taking your body weight a little more forward. Just a little more forward. That's good. And Shitwari, inhale, let's lift the head up. Exhale there. Pancha, inhale, come on all the way up. And exhale. E, come inhale, spread the arms. Ndue, exhale, let's hold the waist. Again, inhale, and this time you're going to keep holding onto the waist and just easy folds. Just give yourself kind of like an easy fold. Try to pivot at the hip joints. If there's a little bit of fear, like you feel like leaving your hands on your waist is a little scary, Put your head on the yoga block and then leave your hands on the waist. And we'll just hold that for a couple breaths. Nice and easy, staying there, working the breath, working the pelvic floor. And here we go, let's pick it up. Chutwari, inhale, come on all the way up and exhale. Now for the C position, A, come inhale, let's spread the arms. And do it, exhale, we try to interlock the fingers behind the back. But if you have a hard time interlocking the fingers behind the back, you can grab a strap. <laughs> Maybe fold it a few times. <laughs> and then you can grab hold of the strap behind your back. And this will just help you a little bit if you are having a hard time interlocking the fingers, if you feel like your fingers just like pop away from each other. Here we go. Inhale, long deep breath in. Trini, exhale, fold. So we place again the top of the head on the block and then just lean a little forward. So then you want to find, okay, what's the pivot point where you feel your shoulders release a little bit? Keep the internal rotation of the shoulders nice and easy, no force. So don't squeeze too hard with the fingers or the shoulders. Just try to soften and relax. Stay there for one more breath. Almost there. Press back into the heels. Chitwari, inhale, come on all the way up and exhale. So drop your strap, hands to your waist. Come inhale. The way exhale, fold forward, hold big toes. Need to bend the knees a little, hold the toes. Remember that's all right. Again, inhale. Training, exhale, you can put the head back on the block and we'll stay here breathing. One, try to keep the back as, as aligned as possible. And you do that by activating the pelvic floor and keeping the legs real straight. If you don't need the block, you can remove it. Let's go for one more breath here. Trini, inhale, lift the head up. Chatwari, inhale, lift the head up and exhale. Pancha, inhale, come on all the way up, hands to the waist. Samastitihi, come on back up to the front. All right, last standing pose, hands in prayer behind the back. It's gonna be really difficult to reach, so we just hold on to the elbows. 
right? This gives you the same internal rotation of the shoulders. Parjvottanasana. Ekam, inhale, step out to the side. Dwe, exhale, just easy forward fold. You want to just stop where your body tells you to stop. Eventually, you're going to pivot all the way down, but if your body says stop here, relax the spine, but allow yourself to just drape it gently down. We'll stay for a couple more breaths. If it's too intense on the legs, you can take your hands on the ground to lessen the burden, but you'll be missing that internal rotation of the shoulders, but you have to figure out what works for your body. One more breath keeping the pelvis square and aligned forward, almost there, and press into the legs, Trini inhale, come up, let's turn, face the front, trying to hold on to the elbows if that's accessible for you, Chitwari exhale, let's fold, gentle fold, okay, and again, if you need to take the hands down, you can take the hands down and really work the square position of the legs, you need a little support for your forward fold or for your back, you can even put the blocks down, let's go for one more breath, Nice and easy. And again, if you've got the elbows, just keep holding them and drape your chest down. Activate the pelvic floor. Pancha, inhale, come on all the way up. Samastitihi, come on back to standing. Okay, let's shake that out for a moment. So now we've completed sun salutations and the standing poses. You should be feeling an inner fire, like a nice little toasty heat that's bubbling up from the inside out. Now we move into the balancing poses. Utita Hasta Padangrasasana, which is a single leg lift. So quite challenging, so we're going to do this modified. Take your hands onto your natural waist. So find that natural waist position. Nice and easy. And then finding your natural waist, take your right arm out. We're going to hold on to the right knee. A, come inhale, hold your right knee. Do I exhale, settle into the posture. Five breaths. One, two, Nice and easy. Three, four, almost there. Five, trainee, inhale, let's lift the head. Stabilize for a moment, Chitwari, exhale, just move your leg over to the side, and you can keep your gaze just straight ahead. It's traditional to look over to the side, but sometimes it's a little too much when you're just beginning. One, two, try not to lift the right hip, just keep it down. Three, four, and five, pancha, inhale, back to the center. Shut, exhale, just squeeze your knee into the chest a little. Sapta, inhale, release. See if you can hold the leg up there. One, two, nice and easy. Three, you can straighten the leg if you want. Maybe it's a little lower. Four, keep pulling in underneath your hip joints. Four, and five, exhale, come on down. Okay, let's try the other side. Left side, ashto, inhale. And Nava, exhale, stabilize. One, keep breathing. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, standing leg is nice and strong. Five, Dasha, inhale, lift the chest. A, Kadasha, use your external rotations. Pop the leg over to the side. One, if you've got good balance, you can look over to the right. Two, Three, keep breathing. Four, almost there. Five, Dwadisha, inhale, back to the center. Trayog, Disha, exhale, fold. Chiksura, Disha, inhale, come up. Keep your hands to the waist and balance. One, nice and easy. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, don't give up. And maybe straighten the leg for a moment. Five, exhale, come on down. All right, now we're going to modify Ardhubhada Padmottanasana. So instead of half lotus position, you're going to externally rotate the right hip joint, and we're going to work tree pose. Hands in prayer. You can have the rooted tree, the sprouting tree, or the full tree pose. And we'll stay five breaths. One, deep breathing. Two, three, nice and easy. Four, just keep feeling your center line, almost there. Five, pancha, exhale, samasthitihi. Through the left side, shut, inhale, find your external rotation, find your version of tree, and hands in prayer. One, deep breathing. Two, three, steady breaths. Four, work your balance. If you fall out, it's all good. 
Almost there. Five. Nava. Exhale. Samasthiti. Okay, let's come on back to the front of the mat. Let's grab your yoga blocks. Put them up again. So we're going to be doing some warrior poses. May help you out. So here we go with straight legs. Make sure they're straight. Okay? I mean, don't obsess about it, but relatively straight. Okay? <laughs> so from Samasthiti, nice straight legs. A, come inhale, raise your hands. Do way, exhale, fold, hands on the blocks. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, come on back, plank. You can do chaturanga if you want. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing. All right, you got your yoga blocks, so give me a little bend knees and see if you can just little hop forward. Sup, a little hop. Good, if not, just walk forward, bend your knees, squeeze the knees together. Inhale, lift the arms. One, this is Utkatasana. Two, squeeze the legs. Three, you can do the open palms, just work the external rotation. Four, almost there. Five, exhale, hands down, lean a little forward into the shoulders. And the tradition here is to try to lift up for a moment. So see if with the yoga blocks, maybe you could lift for a moment. And then step on back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now we're going to go for the warrior pose, Virabhadrasana A. A, come inhale, step your right leg forward. Sink down, press into the legs, and raise your arms. Remember, get that external rotation. One. Two, eventually you can press the palms together and look up, but maybe too much for right now. Three, four, almost there. Five, inhale, pivot around. Ashtu, exhale, down. And if it's too difficult for you to go really low, just keep it up a little bit, but work the integrity of the posture. Two, Three, keep breathing. Really move the elbows towards the ears. Four. Five, inhale. Nava, exhale. Warrior two, one. Spread the arms, two. If your shoulders feel really sore, you can just take the hands down here and just keep working. Four, almost there. Five, inhale, pivot around, dasha, exhale. It's also a good way to check your hip alignment. But if you got it, extend the arms. One, check in with your neck, no force. Two, three, four, almost there. Five, exhale, hands down, ekadasha, inhale, up. Lift your knee into your chest, hold it for a moment, step on back, and Dwadasha, exhale, chaturanga. Trayogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturadisha, exhale, downward facing. All right, now since we got our yoga blocks, let's put them to use, okay? So now, press up into the shoulders, step your right foot, left foot, try to keep the hips up, straighten the legs, exhale, sit down. Let's keep your yoga blocks handy. Okay, so from here, we'll begin to work Paschimottanasana. Working Paschimottanasana, we start off with a seated staff pose. So lift the center of the chest up, keep the breath nice and calm. Now you'll notice, if you have a hard time getting that lift through the lower back, you can grab a blanket, and this may help you out. You can actually sit on a blanket, and this slight elevation of the sitting bones will might encourage a little pivot forward. So see if you need that, if that helps you out, and we'll breathe a couple more times. Try to straighten the legs as much as you can. Long, deep breaths. Then, switching your gaze to your toes, take your hands down, holding onto the shins. If you can't hold the shins, let's grab our friend, the yoga strap again, put it around your big toes, and inhale, ashto, inhale, long deep breath in, nava, exhale, fold. Don't pull so much with the arms, but just let the, let the strap help you get a little bit more ease in the posture. And just breathing, feeling, let your mind be calm, no fight, no force, just your breath. 
Long, deep breath and long, deep breath. Let's go for one more. Good. And Nava Dasha, inhale, long, deep breath in, exhale. Okay, let's move the strap, put it around your feet this time. Let's bring you a little further down. Ashto, inhale, long, deep breath in, Nava, exhale, little fold. Right. One, steady breathing. So you can try to allow your back to soften down, but it might, again, just let it take its time, really support the movement from your pelvic floor. Two. Three, keep breathing, four, and five. Dasha, inhale, exhale. Okay, let's remove your strap, and we're gonna also remove the blankets. Just take a moment, just move that on over to the side, leave that there, and now we're gonna move into reverse plank. And we are doing reverse plank with bent knees. You're going to bend your knees, squeeze the knees together. So it's almost like a reverse tabletop position as well. Glide your hands back behind you and then inhale, send the hips up and forward. And we'll hold that for a couple breaths. One. If it's too much to drop the head back, you can just tuck the chin in and focus on hips up. Two. Squeeze the knees together. Three. Find what works for the body. Eventually the chest opens. Four and five. Nava, exhale down. Now let's hide your feet underneath you. Get your yoga blocks in place. And here we go. Dasha, inhale. Step back to plank. Ekadasha, exhale. Dwadasha, inhale. Upward facing. Trayog desha, exhale, downward facing. Now switch your gaze forward. Sapta, inhale. See if you can bring the feet all the way through. Exhale, settle down. Keep one yoga block here. Now when you're working half lotus position, it can be very challenging. So we try to close the knee joint, bring the leg out to the side. If that doesn't really feel so good for the knee, you're gonna bring your knee forward, placing the knee on the yoga block and lifting your foot up. So the foot comes nice and high and we just stay here almost as though we have a seated version of the pigeon pose where the shin bone is parallel to the front of the mat and the knee is supported by the yoga block. Now we, I recommend if you're working on this version of the posture that you don't try to fold forward. Instead just let the hip joint open, release and just stay here breathing. I have my hand on the knee but I'm not pushing the knee down. So you can just stay feeling, breathing for a few breaths, keeping the integrity in the pelvic floor. Super important not to get mad at yourself, mad at your hip, instead just accept where you are, practice being grateful for even the opportunity to practice for this body, which is the only one we have. One more breath. Okay, then let's pull that right knee up into the chest, straighten it out, and give me your left knee, and the left leg is gonna bend up, so close the knee joint. Some people have a hard time even closing the knee joint. Maybe you can only close it to here. Then using, supporting the knee and using the external rotation, glide it out, assist the block and get it in place. All right, and then we just stay here, feeling, breathing. All right, make sure that there's no pressure in the outer band of the knee. And we'll just stay with nice deep breaths. One. Two, keep the mind calm. Three. Four, let's go for one more breath and just feel where you are, all is well. No fight, no force, no competition. Good, inhale, lift the spine, exhale, let's remove the blocks. All right, we're gonna do this vinyasa without the blocks. All right, then we did the left side. So if we did the left side, here we go. Saptadusha, inhale. Cross your feet, pick it up. Astadisha, step back to plank and lower down. Ekunavim shatiki, inhale. 
Upward facing, long deep breath in. Vimshatahi, exhale, downward facing. Look forward, we're gonna do the next posture. Sapta, inhale, let's step on forward, cross your feet, straight legs, sit down. Grab a yoga block for this one. Bend your knees, you're gonna sit both your sitting bones right on the yoga block. Then fold the right knee back, and you're gonna internally rotate your hip joints. And this is Tirdiang Mukhe Kapada Paschimottanasana. It's very difficult to say with the block, more easy to do. Now, here you are, and you have a couple of options. You can take your fingers to the ground, or if you feel that it might be more efficient or more effective to wrap the strap around the foot, you can hold on to the foot, and we'll just stay here breathing. One. Two, and you fold forward as much as it feels right for your body. Two, three, you can explore that. Four, almost there. So if you feel the little twings of ego come up that say, oh, I wish I could do better, I wish my body was more flexible, I wish it was younger, mm. just observe that and go, okay, those thoughts have arisen, but instead I'm gonna choose to breathe and be here. All right, let's remove. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, stabilize. All right, let's release. Stretch out your right leg. Let's bend the left knee back. Stabilize here. Then again, get everything in position. Grabbing the strap in place. Inhale, prepare. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. And just be here with your breath, one. Two, steady breathing. Three, four, almost there. Five, shodisha, inhale, exhale. Let's remove your strap, bend your knee, move your block on over to the side. Come on back to seated. Saptadisha, inhale, pick it up. Astadisha, all the way back through chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatahi inhale, vimshatahi exhale. Now let's continue looking forward. Stop the inhale, cross your feet, straighten out your legs, and all the way forward. Bend your right knee, closing the knee joint. Grab your yoga block, put it on over to the side. You're gonna close the knee as much as you can, drop it out to the side. So this time, keep your foot on the floor and let the knee be as supported as possible. Then orient your body forward, and this time we're not gonna use the strap, but instead just sit here, folding and pivoting from the hips. One. Keep walking your hands more and more forward. Two. Deep breaths. Three. Four. Almost there. Five, Nava, inhale, exhale. Stabilize here for a moment. Drop your right knee up, straighten the leg and just stabilize. We're gonna pop on over to the other side. So gently bend the left knee, drop it out to the side. You're gonna settle it on the yoga block for a little extra support. Then square the, square the pelvis and the chest forward. Inhale, prepare. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. Draw the navel in, maybe walk the hands a little bit down. One, two, steady breathing. Three, four, keep breathing, almost there. Just be here with your breath and your body for a moment. Five, shodisha, inhale, lift the chest up, exhale there. Stabilize, then bring your block on over to the side, cross your feet, saptadisha, inhale, let's pick it up, astadisha, plank down to chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatahi, inhale, upward facing, vimshatahi, exhale, downward facing. Look forward. Up the inhale, come on forward, and slowly sit down. So for today, we're gonna to complete the Janushirshasana series. So there's two more, there's B and C, and not many people really understand how to modify them. So Janushirshasana B, normally bring your leg out to the side, and then you're gonna sit on the foot. But if you have a knee issue, it's gonna be extremely difficult. So we're gonna grab a yoga block, placing the hips up on the block like this, then drop your knee out to the side, point the foot, 
and then bring it a little forward. And so what this does is it keeps the knee joint more closed and allows you to fold. From here, grab your strap, place it around the foot, and I recommend that you don't try to fold too much of forward here. Just instead, stabilize and breathe. Mind is calm. Deep breaths. One, two, three. Trust that even though you might not feel like you're going so deeply, the posture's still working. Four, almost there. Five, Nava, inhale, exhale, stabilize, remove, let's switch the sides. Stretch out your right leg, fold the left one under, using the extra height of the block to just give a little bit of support for the knee, reaching around with your strap. Inhale, prepare, long deep breath in, panchadisha, exhale, fold. One, deep breaths. Two, you just gotta find the way to work the posture that's best for your body. Three, steady breaths. Four, almost there. Five, shodisha, inhale, exhale. Let's move your strap and your block on over to the side. Cross your feet. Saptadisha, inhale, pick it up. Asta Disha, come on back through plank, down to Chaturanga. Ekuna Vimshatahi, inhale, Vimshatahi, exhale. All right, last one. Looking forward, Sapta, inhale, let's cross the ankles, sit down, straighten the legs. Now, Janna Shashasana C, this is one of these postures where, number one, even if you're flexible and you can do lotus position, this is like extremely challenging. You think, wow, I don't even know what to do. How can I modify this posture? Well, I've got a couple of different options for you. First option, fold your right knee. This works well if you can close your knee joint. Fold the knee under, and then if you're familiar with the yin yoga pose where we do during the weekdays, then we're gonna fold primarily, and I'm pointing at my toes, we're gonna fold over the toes and the ankle. So you keep the knee joint closed, and then you're just going to roll through your toe joints and come on up, balancing here. And this kind of achieves the same purpose and intention as Janish or Sasana C. You're gonna pick your hips up a little, and we'll just stay there. One. Two, steady breaths, three, four, five, almost there. Activate your pelvic floor, Nava, inhale, exhale, roll back through your foot and sit down. That was a lot, all right, Janish Shasana C is difficult. Stretch out the leg. And try the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna show you one other option. Close the knee joint. All right, and normally we externally rotate, but then that creates a little twist in the knee. So I'm having you target the ankle. We're aiming the foot, not straight ahead, but about 45 degrees out, maybe less than 45 degrees, like 35 degrees out from the center line. You know, don't you know, nitpick my geometry here. It wasn't my best subject. <laughs> so then when you come forward, there's a slight external rotation, but we're tracking the knee in line with the foot and the hip, and it's super important. So then we roll through, so it's just a little out, all right? And then we prepare, long deep breath in, panchadisha, exhale, take your weight a little forward. One, two, if you're comfortable, you can sit down, but this is just a little less of an intense stretch. Three, four, almost there, five, roll through the ankle and exhale, sit down. The other way you can modify Janish or Sasa in the C, you might maybe, maybe you like this one better, if you're able to externally rotate, but it's the ankle that's the problem, then you can sit the hips up on the block and actually roll through the external rotation. And then instead of the toes, we end up targeting more the Achilles tendon. But if your external rotation is not yet established, this won't be accessible and may put a little too much stress on the knee. So the first option we did was more accessible. But let's go ahead and, and just stay here just for a moment. And we breathe again. Good. Try the other side. Straighten out the right leg. Bend the left knee and roll through the external rotation. Get the foot as close to the block as you can. And then we're really pushing through the ankle. And you just want to feel, again, the Achilles tendon working. And I have old ankle injuries, so I'm very familiar with 
how, what the intricacies are of working through healing through the ankles and the feet. And we'll hold that for just one more moment. Feel the breath. If you're doing this, don't fold forward. You're just working and targeting the muscles and tendons in the foot. Okay, let's go for one more breath. And that's good. Okay, come on off your yoga block. Drop that over to the side. Saptadisha, inhale, pick it up. Astadisha, jump back. Chaturanga, lower down. Ekuna vim shatahi, inhale. Vim shatahi, exhale. Now let's switch the gaze forward. Sapta, inhale, come on forward. Exhale, gently lie down. We're not done, but we're gonna move into just some really, really gentle back bends, okay? So exhale, gently lie down. Stay there for a moment, and we'll start off with simple bridge. Everybody wants to pop up into Urdhva Dhanurasana, but really what we want to begin with is just a nice, simple bridge. So track your knees in line with the feet and then so make sure they're not too much in and definitely not too much out then you find the pelvic floor leaving the hands down and then inhale just easy lift the hips all right so here we go roll the shoulders under one two three steady breathing four five dasha exhale down okay let's do it again Prepare, Nava, inhale, lift the hips up, roll the shoulders under, one, two, track the knees in line with the feet, three, almost there, four, five, and dasha, exhale down. Ashtanga, we do three back bends. You got one more, all right. Here we go, I'll give you another option with your hands this time. So we prepare, right? Then, Nava, inhale. As you roll forward to the inhale, maybe this time you can grab your ankles and come up. One, track the knees forward. Two, three. Again, if it's too much, just relax down, hands down, or even you could hold on to the pelvis. Four, and five. And dasha, exhale down. Shake that out for a moment. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Roll on up. And inhale, pick it up. Exhale, come on back, plank. Sink the knees, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Switch your gaze forward, sapta. Inhale, cross the feet. Exhale, sit down. We're back to Pashimatanasana. So if you want to grab your blanket, sit on the blanket. If that was better for you, let's get that in place. Lift the hips up, place them there. Grab your yoga strap, and let's prepare. Ashto, inhale, Nava, exhale, fold. One, if you wrap the elbows in, this helps set the shoulders up. Two, keep the legs active. Three, four, steady breathing. Five, we stay extra breaths this time. Six. Seven, keep breathing. Eight, steady breaths. Nine, and we can walk forward. If you're near your feet, you can hold them. Ten, dasha, inhale, exhale. Remove your strap, and then exhale, lie down. And we're gonna use the blanket when we lie down. Make sure that it like the soft side the flat side is near the shoulders, and when you lie down, let's place the shoulders just on the very edge of the blanket. Stretch out your legs, and we'll just stay here lying down for a couple breaths. Feel the spine nice and equal, a lot of space in the back of the neck. Now we prepare for shoulder stand. So we're gonna do it nice and slow. First, if you have any neck issues, you're on your cycle, or you wanna avoid inversions for any other reason, legs up. And we just stay Vipurita Karani, and you can just stay there the whole time. If you want to go for shoulder stand, so we're using the blanket to give a little extra space to the back of the neck. Super good if you're just beginning. And you're going to fold your thighs into the body, maybe bend the knees a little, try to touch the toes down. And roll the shoulders under, find your lower back, and then slowly 
Fold your legs up, and let's go for one leg and the other leg, and we have shoulder stand. You can keep it in a slight V shape. It makes it a little easier to hold. Eventually, you're gonna work to a full straight line. Might be too much for the neck. So you can just take a little bit of the weight off by moving in a slight V shape. We'll just hold this. Give me just 10 breaths here. I know it sounds like a lot. Let's say we've already been doing about three. So let's start from four. Four, keep breathing, keep lifting up. You might surprise yourself. Five, six, seven. If it's too much, remember, just come back to the V. Eight, keep breathing. Nine, and 10. Halasana, just drop the legs down. If your legs do not touch the ground, you're gonna keep holding your low back. One, two, Three, we're gonna be here for five, four, straight legs, five. Okay, let's bend the knees, and this is Karnapidasana. So then you can roll under, and again, keep touching the low back. Eventually, you can keep the hands out here, but keep holding the low back. One, squeeze your ears together. Two, if it's too much, you can even hold onto your feet, hold on to your thighs, and just let yourself kind of get a little extra support for this round position. Almost there. And good, release your hands, exhale all the way down. Hope you guys could hear me there when I was all folded under. All right, now stretch your legs out, Matsyasana. Lift the center of the chest up and then just hang the head back. We'll hold for a couple of breaths. One, you can stay on your elbows and just drape the head back. Two, Three, if it's too much for the neck, you can grab a block and put your head on a block. Four, almost there. Five, exhale, come on down and we're gonna modify Uttana Padasana. So you're gonna straighten the spine and then lift the legs and the arms. Just do this with a flat spine. One, you can do a little arch if you want, but really keep your pelvic floor activated. Two, three, nice and easy, four, Almost there, five. Okay, let's cross the feet. You slowly roll your spine up. Let's move your blanket on over to the side. Cross your feet, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, come on back, plank. Knees down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Come on forward, look forward. Sapta, inhale, cross your feet. Come all the way through to seated. Now. Stretch out your legs. Let's grab your blanket again. This time, fold it up so it's double. It give you a little extra height, especially if your hips feel a little tight. Pick it up, and we're gonna sit on it. And then cross your feet, and let's grab your yoga blocks to support the knees. So here we are, and now we're working what is traditionally Baddha Padmasana, so you're gonna hold the elbows behind the back. Inhale, long deep breath in, and now yoga mudra, exhale, folds. And if you feel that there's too much pressure on the neck, just take your hands forward and we stay here. One, two, drop through the sacrum. Three, almost there, don't give up. Four, five, we got five more breaths. Six, seven, Eight, keep breathing. Nine. Ten. Dasha, inhale, come up. Padmasana position. Put your index fingers and thumbs together, chin down. One, ten breaths. Two, turn your attention deeper and inward. Three. Four, keep breathing, keep working. Five. Six, steady deep breaths. Seven. Eight, keep breathing, keep feeling. Nine, you can gaze towards the nose, you can close the eyes. We got one more breath. 
10. Okay, Utplutihi. Are you ready? Let's take your hands on these little yoga blocks here. And then you're going to try to lift at least the butt, going to come off the ground. I believe your butt is coming off the ground. All right, so here we go. Shoulders forward, your hips back and up, and we stay for 10. One, two, keep breathing. Three, four, really press with your arms. Four, five, Six. Okay, let's try your feet. Try. Just try. Six. Seven. Just try. Eight. Nine. Almost there. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Ten. Okay, come on down. All right, watch those negative thoughts. Choose positive ones instead. Move your yoga blocks over. Move your blanket. If you're cold, you can lie under the blanket. <laughs> and then Dwadisha jump, step back. Chaturanga. You can bend the knees. Come on down. Trayogdisha, inhale. Chikturadisha, exhale. We're going to jump through to lie down. So, Sapta, inhale, cross your feet. Exhale, lie all the way down. Open your feet. Open the hands. Take rest. And as you're lying down, just let your nervous system move into coherence. Let your nervous system move into a space of calm and connect. Feel your breath at the heart center. Feel your body at the heart center. Feel your mind at the heart center. And begin planting the seeds of metta. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be filled with love. May I be successful. May my body be healthy. May I live in harmony with myself and with all beings. Open your heart outward now. Feel the presence of love emanating outward from your heart. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be filled with love. May all beings live in harmony, live as friends, live in peace. Then allow yourself a long deep breath in. As you exhale, let's move your fingers, toes, hands and feet. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Take a moment, feel your body, and just say to your body, hey, my body, I love you. You're good. Hey, my body, you did a good job today. Thank you so much, my body, I love you. This Ashtanga stuff is hard, even when we modify, and you did a good job. I love you, I appreciate you, you're good. Good body. Bring the knees into your chest. Give a little squeeze, roll over. Keeping the eyes closed, so let's come on back up to seated. And now for the traditional closing prayer. Swasti prajabhyaha paripalayantam nyayena margena mahim mahishaha Go Brahmane Vyaha, Shubamastu Nityam, Lokaha, Samastaha, Sukino Bhavantu, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Allow yourself a long deep breath in. As you exhale, open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this modified Ashtanga practice. May you be happy.
May it be peaceful, may it be filled with love. Namaste. Yeah. Thanks for joining everyone. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the modified practice. Everyone's asked me for modified practices. So here it is. Last time I was here, uh, last week we did a traditional counted full primary series. I hope you enjoyed this modified version. Maybe one day we will go further in the series and do even more modifications. You may need to kind of skip around a little. So just remember everyone, the schedule's gonna be a little different next week, so be sure to just stay tuned. I will be scheduling all of the lives. Otherwise, if you have any questions about the practice or anything like that, leave me that in the comments of the video once it uploads. Otherwise, keep practicing. Keep practicing, keep practicing. Thanks everyone, bye.